Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. <clears throat> it's time for some more of the No Death Run of the second quest of The Legend of Zelda right here in Sunday Long Play uh, in The Basement. Um, the first thing we're going to do is address the fact that I have a lot of rupees and a whole lot of keys. Now, the reason for this is because um, I ground for rupees off camera and I just added a few keys to the inventory. There are some tricky key things that will happen uh, in later dungeons, and um, the easiest way to deal with that is just buy a load of keys uh, before you get too far. So, we're on our way to dungeon three. Uh, last time we beat dungeons one and two, as well as stocking up on a bunch of things, including, most importantly, the white sword, the blue ring, um, and uh, just the other stuff that we get as we go. But the letter and the medicine, of course, are very important as well. So the medicine gives us portable full health. The blue ring gives us permanent double defense. And, of course, the sword gives us permanent, permanent double offense. And what we're going to do in Dungeon 3 is show you just how short it can be. And it uh, turns out it can actually be pretty darn short. Uh, which is a good thing. Let me consult my map briefly here. Yep, we're going to go one screen to the right. And it says this is the boss already, although I don't hear it. Which is kind of weird hear it now. Usually you hear the boss when you're one room away. Uh, okay, so perfect requires six bombs. However, you can earn bombs. You can force bomb drop from these guys by defeating them as they're paralyzed with smoke. So I like to put a bomb in their mouth and then drop another bomb immediately. This guy's already had a bomb in his mouth. So can't do that trick with him. He's just gonna die. And look at that! We got our heart container. Uh, there's our fir first heart container of the second row, which is outstanding news. Um, we're going to get many more of those today. I do not want that clock. I don't know if I can pick up a clock with my sword or not. Hopefully he's the last one, because we can move this if they're all defeated. Um, hey, Peter, you might say, you beat the boss, and the next room wasn't the Triforce. Well, that is quite correct, my astute little basement dweller. Uh, we have to travel way over here and kill a bunch of Goraya. Is the plural of Goraya Goraya? Or is it Gorilla? Inquiring minds want to know. We have to travel way over here, and then get the Triforce piece. It's cool that in the second quest, after establishing with eight dungeons in the first quest and the first two dungeons of the second quest, ten consecutive dungeons that the Triforce is in the very next room, suddenly here on the eleventh dungeon, the convention is broken, and I won't give it away before we get there, but I will hint at it that in dungeon four, the sequence breaking is even more noticeable. Now we are going to return back into Dungeon 3 because there is an item that we have not yet procured and we would like to. I would like to. What the heck are these things? Uh, electric ropes? Something like that. They take two hits even with the white sword and um, they hurt more and they drop less and they're just all around brutal. Oh, yeah, I can't pick that up like that, can I? And look at this. We got a map. Uh, we also have to defeat all these guys. So I guess we might as well. You can understand how difficult this would be if he had the first sword. And these guys take a few hits, even with the white sword. And all these fireballs coming at you. Can you imagine being in here with the green tunic? the first sword, and no 
shield. I mean, that would be rough. Yeah, we're back up to 16 keys, same we started with. Now, in order to get the item, um, we have to throw some food on the floor. I'm gonna put it right in his face. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can set that food down anywhere in the room and uh, he'll be satisfied. Okay, let's see. We're gonna kill everything in here. Should be using some bombs. But I don't need to. Hey, what's that? A magic boomerang? Check this out. I'm gonna throw this boomerang. And when it... It's gonna change the magic boomerang halfway through its throw. Um, also, something interesting to note is that this boomerang has uh, blue on it instead of green because Link is wearing the blue tunic. I would like to see the original boomerang and the red ring combo. Um, I'm sure it's programmed that way, but I've just never seen it and I'd like to see it. So that's a fun little, all sorts of fun little tasks you can do in The Legend of Zelda that will take up a lot of time. Okay, ready to watch the boomerang change mid throw? There it is. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing good. We're only a few minutes in, but we actually haven't done all that much. We got the magic boomerang, which is great. We got another part container and another piece of the Triforce. So we, Triforce-wise, are 37.5% of the way there. Uh, somebody double-check my math. Just kidding, don't. I'm right. I'm always right. Not just about math, but about everything. You can ask my wife. She will... She will let you know. Uh, okay, so next on the task list, there's not a new thing we want to do in the overworld yet. That magic boomerang doesn't really unlock anything for us. Um, just lets us throw our boomerang further. We didn't use any medicines, so we're on our way to Dungeon 4 now. Uh, Dungeon 4 is located one screen south of where Dungeon 5 was in the first quest. And we are not so far away. Let's see if any of these guys have a heart for me. Oh, there's only one. Oh, and it's got a fairy. Okay. Get that fairy. Get her. Get her. There we go. That was almost embarrassing. We don't have to go back to go up. We could just go up right here since we are close. And boom. Dungeon four. In we go. Now this one's an interesting one. There's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm gonna put this book on my lap here. I wish I had like a stand or something in front of me. Okay, we're gonna go uh, up left, up right, right. <clears throat> that will be the first thing that we will do. Up. Oh, look. Left is not very easy, is it though? Now look, this is level four, and this is the in the second quest, and this is the first quest's Dungeon 5 boss. Oh look, I took damage. I got too close. But tripled! I mean, how ridiculous is that? Dungeon 4 in the first quest, boss, is rank and file enemy in Dungeon 5. Tripled! That's nuts! Okay, let's see what's going on in this room. We have all sorts of danger. Um... Now the blue bubble gives us our sword use back. The red one takes it away. Not, oh, see, now I can't use my sword. So I have to go touch this blue bubble. Okay, we got our sword back. Oh, we lost it again. Touched a red bubble. Uh, you do not want to be without your sword, if you can help it. Okay. Now right, right. Oh, look. Another former boss. Significantly easier, though, especially if you have the beams. Right, right, okay. Now, there's an important item. Oh, we, we should buy some arrows, except we don't have the bow yet. I'm used to having the bow all the time in the game because you get it in Dungeon 1 in the first quest. And here, no such luck. Man, I'm grateful for sword beams, even more for a clock. These guys are annoying. They don't recoil when you hit them. Now this room actually features a movable block. And also features, oh, look. Oh, oh, look. It's exactly what I thought it would be. The Bible. 
called the Magic Book in the North American release. It was originally planned to be called the Bible. Um, as in the books of. Okay, now we can go up a screen, which we want to do. The boss is to the right of us. We're going to go up, left, left, and then up as far as we can. Let's see. This is confusing. I have to think about this. Okay, and then bomb. How do we get up there? Like that. Okay. All right. Um, I memorized the books of the Bible when I was a young lad. And I still know them today. Do you believe me? Oh, we have to kill everything in this room! Oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's get it done. I mean, we have beams. We can stay away from the red guys. Whoa! -oh. Just if a couple of these die, we'll be in better shape. Ugh! Okay. That's fine. Still have full health. Still have the use of our sword. He's dead. Oh, we don't want to get that just in case we need it in a second. I do want my new boomerang out though. Whoop! Alright. Can't use my sword anymore. Come here, blue. Whoop! Not that. Okay. We did touch the right thing. Okay, take out this guy, and then there's just one left, and he is a tricky one, but we got him. Okay, let's get out of here with the use of our sword intact, and uh, maybe, okay, hold on, let me see here. We want to go just up. Oh, I could have gone up into nine, what's nine, bomb carrying upgrade. Okay, yeah, so let's go right, right. Shoot, I did this the wrong way. Where we got the magic book, after we came out, uh, we could have pushed right. And then been in this room. Uh, I would like to have more bombs. Thank you. I can easily afford it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We will take both the bomb upgrades, just because... This is the second quest, and why why deal with not having enough bombs if we can help it at all? Boy, the clock is handy. It's like the... Well, we don't need that. It's like the most prized possession. Okay, now we're going to go up here. Um, yeah, we are trapped by that door, and we're going to get trapped by this door as well, but this room's a little nicer. IMO. Uh, we could go right, but we don't have the stepladder, and it gets a little tricky to do it the other way. Okay, what's in here? Just these guys. Uh, yeah, so let's see if I can do this quickly while doing this room. Uh, <clears throat> the books of the Bible in uh, canonical order. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Okay, north, north, east. That's what we want. Um, that is the Old Testament. The New Testament features Matthew... Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd. Wait. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 Johns, Jude, and Revelation. Now, I took a few shortcuts there. It's not 3 Johns. It's 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, but you get the point. 39 books in the Old Testament. Uh, Twenty-seven books in the New Testament. And we will give up 50 rupees to get out of that room. We will not give up a heart container. Uh, although that is a possibility. How terrible would that be? 
Um, and I, I did try it. Uh, I got here off camera and saved state and tried it. And it does actually take a, a heart container away from you. It doesn't just drain the heart container. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> uh, we want to go north. This is why we have extra keys. We do not want to lose our sword. Okay. Uh, oh, good. One of these. All right. Back to the old flute. Okay, and... Oh, dear. Well, I got two of them. That third one's gonna get going fast, though. Haha! -ha! That's the best thing you can do when they're rocketing around, is just, um, throw your boomerang around and, and until you hit it, and then attack. Now, check out this sequence breaking. We're gonna go behind the Triforce and through the wall. That's right, through the wall. Defeat these enemies to unlock this locked door. We'll be back for that Triforce. But believe me, this is the quicker way to do the dungeon, is to skip the Triforce after you've earned it and come back for it. North until we can't go north anymore, and then we will get a um, particular wonderful item. Look at this. These rooms lock. These doors lock. Can you imagine that? Okay, he's dead. Uh, is he going to give me anything? No. Let's drop two. Hit him while he's smoking. Get those bombs. Do the same with this guy. Look at that. We just killed three Dodongos and we're leaving the room with 12 bombs. Oh my gosh. Look at this room. These red little, those orange rabbits too. They can go in the doorway. Ah. So let's kill both red dark nuts, leave and come back and see if we get a better mix of enemies here. Um, well, I'll get rid of one of the, uh, get rid of one of the rabbit heads. Ow. What is this, dungeon four? Man. Okay, you can, fortunately, you can strike north through blocks. It's really handy for a room like this, where there's ridiculously tight quarters. I mean, what are you supposed to do about this? Ow. Ow. Oh, panic, I guess. Uh, let's see. One of these blocks moves. Which one is it? That one right there. <laughs> That's just funny to me. What a goofy looking room. Was there a room like that in the first quest at all? I don't remember. I remember the general weird shape of the room. Look, it's the raft. Um, so not only did we get another heart container for defeating the boss of this dungeon, and we're about to fill our hearts with the Triforce, and we still haven't used our medicine, which is great news, but we're going to take this raft and go get an additional overworld heart container before moving on to what's next. Uh, this is a two-way secret passage. I would like to try at some point coming into this dungeon and getting the Triforce without beating the boss. I don't know if it can be done. It seems like it might be able to, because there's another way to get to that. Raft room, I believe. From the outside. Okay, let's... Where are we going? We're going to the East Coast. And we, we can't go east from that. Oh, how nice. Oh, this is the... <laughs> okay. That didn't get us very far, did it? We already had full health. Okay, here's here's one. This is a good starting spot. Uh, we could go to... Now, the thing about the recorder taking you to places you've already been, uh, like the entrances to dungeons that you've already defeated, um, it actually... The game looks at the Triforce that you have, and it ships you to the location of the first quest version of that dungeon. The first quest location. Boy, that looked weird. It looked like I hit that pea hat with my sword while it was flying, but really it was a red lever. Gosh, I'm a nerd! That's okay. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I, I did kind of crouch down and put my hand in front of my mouth, but I did not turn away from the microphone as much as I should have. 
That is on me. Sorry, guys. That's gross. Um, I try not to be gross. Uh, but, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes people are gross. <laughs> it's hard to, hard to, um, prevent every single time. All right, another heart container. We are at 11. We are only one away from being able to acquire the magical sword. Uh, which is extremely encouraging news. Now let us... Let me think. I think the next thing we want to do... There's no real overworld stuff we want to do. Right now. Ow. Let's take a look at our stuff here. We've got four of the eight pieces of Triforce. Got boomerang, bombs, bomb upgrade. Can't buy arrows yet, because we don't have the bow. I mean, we're pretty well stocked. We could buy the bait again. We could, um, grind for rupees some more, in case we run into another one of those give me 50 rupees or give me a heart container dealy deals. Um, but, you know, we're doing good on keys. Excuse me. I don't... I want you to survive. So there's only one of you on the screen instead of four of you, but I do not want to deal with you. That's a good place to buy medicine. This is a dangerous screen that we neutralized. Okay, now the entrance to six used to be north of the one screen away from us. Right now, though, it is actually here, and we don't push the gravestone. We wither it away with the use of the um, recorder. Now, you may want to know, Peter, why are you in level six? You haven't done level five yet. And the reason for that should become clear once we go another room north. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's just Rambo through here. And a few rooms west. Watch out for these like-likes. They'll eat your shield. Um, watch out for these guys, too. They don't... They don't die with the use of the white sword. They just turn into keys. Ow! Go! Mm. Get out of here. Okay, one more room west. Watch out for these... Like-likes. Boy, I can't even... Oh! Uh, I'm used to not fighting orange. Well, this is an interesting room. Why is that rupee there? Why is that one trap really enamored with me? I mean, I know why. It's because I'm with it. Is, are these rupees meant to be, like, a clue? Probably. Uh, this, actually, we can move. And stairs appear uh, in the northeast corner of this room. And guess what's down here? Just guess. Well, you can't guess anymore. You can already see it. That's right. The stepladder. What does the stepladder do for us, you might ask? It allows us to get another overworld heart container, the final one of five, uh, which allows us to get the magic sword, which allows us to do double damage even than we're already doing. Um, which will come in very handy for dungeons five and six. So, ow. So I'm excited about that. I keep moving this way. I don't mind those temporary bubbles that take away uh, your sword for a temporary amount of time. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna lose our shield right here. Oh, oh, Peter, how terrible. Oh, you know what? And we're gonna die too if we're not careful. Oh my gosh, press B. Our no death run almost came to an untimely end. That would have been awful. You could see how hard level six is gonna be. That's why we're gonna go get the magic. Uh, sword. We're also going to have to buy some more potion, and we're going to have to buy ourselves another shield, which means we're going to have to uh, get a few rupees. And the best way to do that is still... Uh, I guess money-making game and abusing the save states. Um, I could wander around the overworld and grind for rupees. I really could. And whether I do it there or by abusing save states with the money-making game. I'm going to be doing it off-camera. So, what difference does it make to you? That's what I'd like to know. Um, okay, let's see. Where is the magical... shield? It is... 
east of here. It is, um... Yes, hello, boulders. It's where... It's one screen west of... where you get the white sword in both quests. Of course, you can't get there by traveling west from that location. Ow. You have to swing way around and come at it from the east. We're just one screen away now. Using your power bracelet, push this rock uh, up or down. I guess sideways doesn't work. And master using it, you can have this. Outstanding. Not outstanding. We have not yet got <laughs> the heart container we need. Okay. So I guess let's do that. And then we'll come back and get the sword. Uh, what is this? This is current level 3, formerly known as level 2. And, happily enough, not too far away from the heart container that we want. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Watch out for the raining shower of arrows. Work your way to the east coast. Oh, we can't go there. It's right on the other side of that screen. It's one screen east of that, but... Alas, we cannot travel through that wall, so we're gonna have to swing around like this. Come down here, deal with this ridiculous screen, and get to the ocean, go up a screen, and finally... I got a little ahead of myself with uh, assuming we had the heart container already. My bad. Um, okay, so now we go get the... now we go get it. So let's do that. So why do I have the books of the Bible memorized? You might wonder from several minutes ago in this video. Um, the answer is I went to a thing when I was in middle school at my church called Confirmation. Um, different, different churches handle this kind of thing in different ways, uh, which is fine. Um, but bat getting baptized which is getting dunked underwater uh, like the Bible says that Jesus did when he was like, I don't know, 30. You know, the one where uh, John the Baptist dunks him underwater and then a, the Holy Spirit like a dove comes down. Oh, let me show you something brutal about this game. This, just look how mean they are. Yeah, there. And it's not just like a good shop. No, that's Dungeon 8. <laughs> oh, uh, good luck finding that one. Um, Ted and I did find that on our own. It was... It felt like one of the last screens we checked. Oh, oh come on. I'm going to be grateful to have this sword here. You'll die in one hit when I get my new sword, bub. Woo! Sometimes with those boulders, you can second-guess yourself about trying to dodge them. And uh, unless you're on the brink of death, just blast through. All right, we need money because we need uh, a shield. And we need medicine. I'm not going into Dungeon 5 without red medicine. Uh, yeah, though, we're, we're the no-death part. Uh, of this series if I do say so myself is looking kind of promising right now um, pride cometh before the fall and I'm sure I'm going to regret saying that but at least right now we're in a good spot where we've got upgraded stuff we've got the best sword upgraded tunic as many heart containers as we possibly can for only having four pieces of the Triforce so far. And, um... Yeah. We rolling. Uh, we're not going to go into Dungeon 5 until we have that shield and the red medicine, like I said. And plenty of money. So we can uh, not only buy a bomb upgrade if needed, but also... I'm going to kill this Zora just because. Um... So we could do a bomb upgrade it if available, so we can survive the your money or your life room without giving up a heart container. Let's kill some more of these guys. So there's not so many of them in the way. Hehehehe. 
All right, let's play a little money-making game. So I'll show you how this works. We're going to save state. And then we're going to try this middle one here. And that didn't work very good. That was subtract 40. So we'll load state and hit this one instead. How sweet is that? Um, so we'll do this a couple of times. And um, we'll buy the bait just north of us. Oh, look, plus 20. That was a good guess. And then maybe we'll stop in here one or two more times for some more rupees before we go to buy um, our shield and potion. Maybe I should have bought one or both of those on my way here. Oh, well. Let's do this one more time before we buy the bait. Chose poorly, so we'll load state and choose wisely. And we'll swing over here. I don't know if we need the bait again or not in the second quest, so we're gonna do this just to play it safe. This is where I bought my keys off camera, by the way. And you may notice we're negative five keys since we started uh, this video. <laughs> so that goes to show kind of how perilous the key situation is. Um, I don't know what dungeon has the magical key in it. Hopefully we'll uh, get to it soon and we can just stop worrying about that altogether. Uh, one more. I know this is a little tedious and I know I said I'd probably do it off camera, but it's kind of the next step. Okay, now we're not using uh, save states to prevent the no death run from being busted. If I die, then the no death run has failed and that that's that. Oh look, I could buy medicine probably right here. Nope. That was a secret to everybody. Where is the closest medicine shop and where is the closest good shield shop? That's what I want to know. I think the closest medicine shop to where we are now is just one screen south here. Opening up my... Oh, we got a... If it's still here. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks like medicine. And then... Oh, there's a... Okay, what do we have? We have... We have blue. So we'll do this and get red. And then... I'm trying to see... Oh, actually... We are close to... Kind of close. Closer than I thought. I'll show you guys a new um, place to go get a cheap magic shield. And by cheap, I mean... Expensive, but less expensive. Uh, okay, so, as I was saying, my church has a thing called Confirmation. It's where you take some classes to learn about um, church history and faith. And this is not where we're going. And um, the Bible and things like that. And then at the end of it, if you pass, uh, you get baptized. Or you get dunked underwater. And part of passing confirmation, it's a two-year program, is taking uh, a written test. But then you also do, like, um... There's an oral part in front of the whole congregation during a church service where you... We're going to go get a little money while we're close. Where you... you uh, they give you like a list of 10 questions or something that you might be asked. Um, they might say, what is the meaning of this? Or what is the significance of that? Or describe to us uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's... the. They're all memorization deals. Like, there's there are right answers that you memorize. And one of the possible questions was, please name the books of the Bible. In order. Um, and so, if you wanted to be sure that you would pass, you would have all of those answers prepared. And uh, so that was one of the answers that I had prepared, and then that was the one that I got asked. So with everyone standing there, I had to prove that I knew all the books of the Bible in order. 
And I did. Although, I think... Somewhere around the Obadiah Jonah mark, I slipped a bit and said Jobadiah. Uh, which is funny, because there's an Obadiah, there's a Jonah, they're right next to each other, and there's also a book called Job. Uh, so Jobadiah is about as close of a book to the Bible that isn't actually a book to the Bible, I think, that you can get, like, name-wise. So if someone ever asks you to make up a name for a new book of the Bible, Jobadiah, there, there's my suggestion to you. All right, let's just do this one more time here. Whoop. Here we go. All right, we're good now. I think we can go to five. I don't see a reason why we can't. We got our shield back. We refilled our medicine. We're stocked up on rupees. We know where five is. Um... It's where four was in the first quest. And I am, like, not familiar with five at all. Before I recorded this first episode of this series, I, um... I played through the first couple of dungeons and familiarized my, re familiarized myself with the game a bit. Um so that I would be fresh. And then after recording that first episode, and before now, recording the second episode, um, I... Uh, played Dungeons 3 and 4. Um, so I would be a little more familiar with them. And uh, that went well, but I have not played the second quest, Dungeon 5, since Ted and I played it in... Oh, might have been 2013, 2014. So it's been a while. I do have a guide here in front of me, a paper guide. So I may be looking down from time to time. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try this and see how it goes. Because why not? Um, I read the description in the guide that said, "Ow," that said this dungeon features a lot of like likes and whiz robes. So choose your battles wisely and bring your candle to illuminate the way. So that's the plan. Um, we do have the magical sword, which normally people would not. You know, I'm gonna get the boomerang out so I can keep these, so I can paralyze these guys if they get close to me. But they're not so bad when you've got the magic sword. They die quicker. It's the five hits or whatever it is that they take when you've got the white sword that really makes them troubling. Uh, okay, I don't know if I want to mess with that keyhole or not. Uh, let's see. I came in, I went up, I went left. So let's exhaust our open doorways first before we start resorting to using keys and... Um, bombs and pressing against walls for one-way passages and stuff like that. Whoa, dear. Okay, I can still use my sword. That's a good thing. I cannot go south out of that room. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's a little bit mean. Wow. They just trapped you right in there, didn't they? <laughs> I like this room. I like these little eyeballs. Hey, we got the compass. Okay, the... Triforce seems to be way up at the top of the map, although who knows how close that means we really are. Oh, clock! Yes, please. Just in case this room drops something good like the map. I suppose that's about the only thing I'd be interested in. Okay, so I guess we go right. Um, I'm gonna take a quick look the old map here. Dungeon 5. Let's see. Up, right. Compass, up, key, right, up. B brings us to B. Oh, good. And then we can go to the boss and get the Triforce. So, let's keep... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, let's keep moving here. Uh, we may not explore all the rooms, and we may not... Oh, die! Oh, shoot. Die! 
Okay, got him. That was not the boss. Oh, I, I had no idea. My guide tells me the shape of a room, like it showed me the spiral of blocks. But it could, I mean, it could have been bubbles that take your sword away and, uh, whiz robes, you know? I'm um, glad it's just keys. Okay, I don't think there's any pushable blocks in here, but I... I think if we go through this, we pop up one room east of the boss, if I'm reading the guide correctly. Uh, and that's great news for us. <clears throat> yep. Uh, well, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Since we have the magic sword, they may drop health. Of course they did not. Okay, I don't know what this boss is. I do have two uses of the potion ready, so let's go in and see what we got here. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, how many heads does it have? Okay, keep an eye on the health. It's got three. Okay, another heart container. We're up to, uh, let's see, 13. Only three left. And we'll grab the Triforce. And I think that's going to do it for this episode of the No Death Run of the Second Quest of The Legend of Zelda on Sunday Long Play here in the basement. Till next time, basement dwellers, I think that you are more on your way to victory than a NASCAR driver who uh, is doing great because everybody else got a flat tire in the basement.